Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and today we're working on DIY spring topiaries using Dollar Tree supplies. So first up is our floral topiary. So let's get started. What I've got here, this is a metal vase from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be spray painting it as well as the stem, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I'm removing the price tag off the bottom and I'm also going to be removing the twine, but don't throw the twine out because we're going to put that back on in a minute. Once I get the twine off, I've kind of got like twine debris left here at the top. I want to get it off. You could leave it on if you don't, doesn't bother you. So I'm going to use this Goo Gone from Dollar Tree, squirt it on, let it set a few minutes, and then I've got the spatula and I'm just kind of scraping it all off till it's all nice and smooth. And then I'm going to be spray painting it with this Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte spray paint in white. So for the stem, I got this pickup tool at Dollar Tree. This one was actually broken, so I got it for free. But if it's not broken, you kind of need to pull it apart so you can get one end off and cut the wire like I'm doing here. And I thought this metal part of the pickup tool was nice and thin, and it turned out that it was, so it's gonna be perfect for our stem. So I'm seeing how much I need to cut off here, and I'm gonna cut off about seven inches. And what I'm gonna do is just take my wire cutters here and I'm just gonna kind of snap one half of it. And then I'm gonna turn it over and snap the other half of it. It's already got a nice hole there and I'm just gonna flex it back and forth once or twice and it's ready to go. So I've got the stem in some uh, styrofoam there and we're gonna actually use that styrofoam later. And I'm spraying two uh, thin coats of spray paint on both pieces and I actually spray the inside of the vase a little bit but you don't need to. So what we're going to do is work on the topiary part. What you're going to need is three skewers and I know they have skewers at Dollar Tree and you're going to need two sets of the eight inch embroidery hoops and I got these at Walmart. So you're going to need one complete set and you're going to remove the screw from that set. You don't need that screw. And then on the other set, you're gonna need the embroidery hoop that doesn't have the metal on it. You're gonna need the one that's whole, okay? So what we're gonna do, go back to the embroidery hoops. I'm using floral tape. I know Dollar Tree has like green floral tape. You could probably use scotch tape. I'm using this because I have it on hand. And I'm taping these skewers all the way down to the bottom and you wanna make sure that your skewers stay in a straight line side by side, okay? What we're gonna do is sandwich the skewer in between the two metal portions of this embroidery hoop. And that's gonna help our sphere stay stable inside of the metal tubing that is our stem, okay? So we're gonna use E6000. This is the hardest part of the whole thing. You're gonna add a bunch right near the tip of your stem. And we're gonna kind of start by adding one half of the metal part of the embroider hoop and the stem at the same time. So add your glue to the uh, metal on your embroidery hoop. You're gonna put one side of your embroidery hoop in that metal part and then you're gonna stuff the other side in. It's really tight so it takes a little bit of muscle but you get it in there and you're gonna leave your uh, sticks there sticking up about a quarter of an inch. And the reason we do this because when you take the screw out of your embroidery hoop, when we go to make a sphere and you put your other embroidery hoop through, do you see that space at the top there? That's not gonna make our sphere stay together. So by using the skewers, it takes up that space because we are able to place that embroidery hoop right on top of those skewers there. And plus the thickness of the skewers and the metal parts of that first embroidery hoop take up the whole space inside that stem, okay? And then we're just gonna glue it all together like this into a sphere. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put my spheres where I want them. You can use E6000 and hot glue or Fabri-Tac glue. And I place my spheres about three and a quarter to three and a half inches apart between each hoop. And I'm just marking where I'm gonna glue because it's gonna be a lot easier later to get my spacing correctly back together. So I'm using my Fabri-Tac liquid glue or any kind of liquid glue and a little bit of hot glue 
in where I marked it so that it will set immediately with the hot glue, but then the Fabri-Tac will really like hold it really well together. The Fabri-Tac glue is by Beacon and I get it at like Walmart or Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's a great glue because it's actually like a fabric glue. Make sure you put some glue on those skewer sticks there and then get your pieces. You know where to put them because you mark them and get them in place. And then I'll just check my spacing here in just a minute once I get them in space or in place. <laughs> and again, about three and a quarter to three and a half inches apart. And now I want to kind of make my little metal vase all rustic because the uh, spray paint is a little bit too neat for me. So I'm just using some sandpaper. I'm going over all the raised edges. I'll also go over, you know, areas in the center as well, make it look a little more rustic. Adding all those nice lines, letting the metal kind of come back through, shine through, looks really nice. And then we're going to go back and remove the dust off and then go ahead and get our twine back on. I'm using my Fabri-Tac liquid glue again. You can use any glue you want. Don't worry, I cut a little bit of this out. You don't need to see me gluing and, and winding twine back onto our little vase here. Perfect, winding around, and it's like magic, we're almost done. All right, so now what I want to do is stabilize and make this vase heavy to hold our topiary. So I got these rocks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add the whole bag. And then I'm going to take that styrofoam piece we used earlier when we spray painted our stem. It doesn't quite fit and I don't want to mess with it cutting it off so I'm rolling the sharp edges on my table and I keep doing that until I get it to smush down so it fits right inside that vase. And then it's already got the hole from where we used it earlier and I'm using flowers from Dollar Tree. Pick out whatever flowers you want and I'm also going to use some flowers in my stash. You'll see me start with these flowers, but in the end, I decide I don't like them, so you will not see me end with these flowers. <laughs> I leave the greenery, but I pull the flowers back off and I replace them later. And we're going to also be using some LED lights from Dollar Tree. So we're going to start gluing our flowers on. And when you go to glue the flowers on, you want to make sure you don't glue in the center area. And let me make that a little more straight. So you can start gluing around the perimeter. You can glue stems through the center, but don't put actual flowers or greenery in the center area because that's where our lights are going to be housed. The battery pack is going to lay there. Okay, you'll see here in just a minute, I'm placing my battery pack there. So see how that's going to go, although I lay it flat. But uh, so you just wanna make sure you don't add any of the flowers or greenery, like I said, you can glue all around it. You can, your stems can lay there. Just don't put actual flowers there. So I'm gonna use these uh, little uh, hot glue finger protectors. I got those at Dollar Tree. In a later, a uh, few minutes later here from now, you're gonna see me throw those right back off. <laughs> so don't do as I do, keep them on. I decide I don't like how light this wood is on the embroidery hoops. So I'm going to take this espresso brown paint from Arteza and I'm going to water it down and get it really nice and thin. I have too much paint here so you see me move through about three or four wells here. These little paint trays are from Dollar Tree. They come in like six in a pack. But get your paint like watery thin and then you need a paper towel and you're just going to take your paint and paint it on there. Just do a little bit at a time and wipe it off because the paint will dry pretty quickly. You're going to do this whole process. So if you want to do this, you might want to do it not as backwards as I am. Like I said, it's kind of a last minute thought. Uh, maybe do it before you put your flowers on. But I didn't get too far in the flowers, so this is, this is going to be fine. I don't have to hold too many out of the way. But I think it looks much better against the twine when it's all done. Looks a lot closer to the twine on the, the vase, so I like it a little bit better. So again, I'm kind of arranging the flowers here, as you can see. See how the stems are going in the middle? That's just fine. And you 
just kind of see me working back and forth, gluing flowers, checking the battery pack every now and then. Anytime here that, there it goes. Anytime here the finger protector's coming off. But again, keep them on there because you do uh, use those flowers pretty close to the hot glue when you're gluing these in. And I'm just going to keep all my floral down around the bottom of the topiary. The top half of the topiary is not going to have anything in it. It's going to be open. And these really are pretty flowers, but I think the colors just started to look a little bit too wetting for me. So that's why I changed them later to white flowers that I got at Dollar Tree. And I think those tend to look a little more spring-like. So I'm going to add in some of these purple ones because they're really long. And I think they'll look kind of pretty hanging down around the sides. So I'm going to get those glued in. And we're going to get our battery pack in. This is foam tape from Dollar Tree. And when you put your battery pack in, see it's got a little screw there. You want to make sure that that screw is up. And so put, make sure you put these little foam pieces on the other side of the battery pack. Because when you need to go change your battery, uh, Dollar Tree batteries like to have little screws in their battery pack. So you need to be able to access that, take the screw out, change your batteries, put the screw back in. So just make sure that that screw is up when you go to to set your battery pack down in, okay? So here comes the white flowers. I've taken off all the other wedding color ones. Although they're pretty, I just like I said, they looked a little too wedding to me. Left the greenery in, because I like that. I just pulled the flower off the stem and I'm replacing white flowers I got from Dollar Tree onto those stems. And I believe I used two bunches of flowers of the white from Dollar Tree. And then we're going to start gluing in some of this other greenery. I love this greenery from Dollar Tree. I think they had it last year, but I just didn't get in any on it, in on any of it. Um, but I love it because it's so frosted looking and just really cute. So I bought quite a few bunches this year. I wasn't going to go without this time. And the colors are so pretty, the purples and the whites. So as you're starting to put this greenery in, see we're still staying away from the battery pack, but this greenery will start to kind of overflow and lay over the battery pack a little bit. Make sure that when as you glue these in, you're gluing the greenery into the other greenery and not, you know, on the battery pack so that you end up gluing the battery pack closed or something like that. So you understand what I'm saying? So just make sure you glue into the flowers already lying there. And once we get this greenery in in the front here, I'll add like three more roses in the center portion and that battery pack will be completely covered on top. And if you don't want to use a battery pack, you obviously, you know, and use lights, you obviously don't have to worry about covering this. Just glue flowers all in the center and it's all good. Here come the white flowers. The stems are long enough that I can still glue onto the sides glue down into that other greenery. You can see how I stick that down in there. One more and we are all set. There, all nice and pretty. All right, so now Let's go ahead and we're going to start working on the bottom a little bit more. I'm going to use this reindeer moss from Dollar Tree. Now when we go to our next topiary, I end up using the same vase and I did that on purpose. One, obviously you can make either topiary that you want. And then two, if you decided you wanted to kind of make them both, you had enough supplies, I don't glue in either topiary into that hole in that vase because it goes down into the styrofoam and down into the rock that they are sturdy enough, they don't lean, they're perfectly fine. And now I can change my topiaries out as I want. If I don't want the one we're making now and I want the more rustic one later, it's perfect. I can change them in and out to my heart's desire. So that makes it fun. And then you only have to do one vase, you only have to store one vase. So that makes it you know, even better that way as well. So just covering up everything except for the hole. You kind of want to leave your hole open, covering up all that styrofoam. And then it fits in there nice and pretty just like that. 
So now we're going to work with the lights. So what you're going to do, the lights are not long enough to go over every embroidery hoop. It really only fits over two of the hoops. So I start twisting my wire around the very outer embroidery hoop, the one, the main one that goes over the whole uh, piece of the sphere, so to speak. So you can see now at the top, I'm winding it over that very outer one. And then as I come around, I just kind of wind it and I get down to the other side. I kind of wind it through some of the greenery. And then I just go back through over whichever one that I want to go back through to cover another hoop. I think I end up doing the two outer hoops and then the inner embroidery hoop has nothing on it, but it looks perfectly fine just going over two hoops. See, it looks really pretty, it looks fine. So now what we're gonna do is a bow. I believe I got this either at uh, Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And I got this trim because of the brown tones. I thought it went really pretty with the twine. And I like my bows to be rustic. It is a wired ribbon, but most of you that have been crafting with me a while here uh, know I always cut my wire off because it allows the edges of the ribbon to fray. And I like that. It just gives it more of a rustic feel to me. But you know, you can leave your wire on. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly acceptable. And I think I had just enough uh, ribbon left on my spool. It's about a yard long. And you're just going to tie a regular bow. You can see how the stuff's fraying here. I kind of wanted to show you that. Tie a regular bow. And then once you get the bow how you want it, you're going to go ahead and I just hot glue it right down at the bottom of that topiary. And once you get that in place and it looks all nice and beautiful, just the way you want it, this topiary is complete. So now we're gonna work on the rustic topiary and you're going to probably be wondering this took three hours for the first topiary and the second one's only going to take about 10 minutes to make yep and that's how i want it so let's get started you're going to be using these wooden dowels i got from walmart they're a multi-pack i take the largest one out of the pack and i spray paint it white it fits perfectly inside of the hole already there and we're going to be using this bamboo wreath from dollar tree and we're going to take that uh, dowel rod and we're going to put it into that bamboo wreath. I think off camera I actually had to cut a few of those twigs out of the bamboo wreath so that that uh, uh, dowel rod can be glued in there and then let that sit for just about 10 minutes. And then I got this lavender pick at Walmart. It was like $2.49. I'm going to cut off a few sprigs, I think two sprigs for each side. And then you're just going to hot glue them, two on each side, or as many as you want. Or if you want to go around the entire wreath, that's up to you as well. Um, you can just hot glue. I just do it here, two on each side, like I said. Arrange them how I want to. Literally, this takes like 10 minutes. <laughs> I know you watched the other one for like three hours, right? And finally got a topiary, and this one takes 10 minutes. But you know, you can make whichever one you want or both, just like I'm doing here, of course. And then once we get this in where we want and glued, we're just going to make another bow. And I've got this uh, kind of black and cream ribbon coming up that, again, I think looks really nice with the colors of the twine and the bamboo wreath here. And again, I think I'm going to have to look at the label here in just a minute. If I'm remembering right, I think this was Joann's or Hobby Lobby as well. Tie it in a bow. I cut the wire off just like the other one and you're going to hot glue it on right there in the center. The label of the ribbon didn't really show, did it? That's why I was guessing, but I know it was Joann's or Hobby Lobby because I haven't bought ribbon in Michael's for like ever. Hot glue that. Isn't that so super cute? And then you put it right down into the center of that base at the bottom and this topiary is done just like that. 
So it's however long you want to spend on making a topiary. So I decided I wanted to put my topiaries in the bathroom. I thought they would look really pretty in here. So here's a final look at the rustic topiary we just made on a cabinet in my bathroom. My bathroom's done in kind of blacks and browns and grays. So adding this little bit of color from either topiary looks really pretty in here. So I'm just kind of showing you it all set up for you using even some of these uh, houses that I got at Dollar Tree, that home sweet home and love lives here. Those little porcelain houses and the candles. Thought it was super pretty. And then here's the other one, the floral topiary. Again, if I wanted to switch to this one, all lit up here as well in the same spot. Super pretty. I love it. I'm glad I switched the colors of the flowers because again, the white does look a little bit more spring-like than the other colors. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel a lot. And leave me a comment down below and tell me if you like the three hour <laughs> topiary, uh, floral topiary uh, best, or if you like the 10 minute rustic topiary best. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, really wondering which one you all liked best. I'll have my links down below to my social media. So come follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and my blog. I'll also have the link to that Arteza paint. Uh, that I used. If you're interested in that, you can go check that out. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!